I'm Mel Trad, and we're at my studio. There are two um, overarching um, impulses in my work. Uh, one is the value of material and the value of the art object and the template that has been formed over time for the way we make uh, sculptural form. So there's the use of the pedestal, there's the use of uh, painting, the tableau, sculptures on the floor. So there's all different kinds of things that are happening that I take into consideration. Um, but then also at the same time, I think about the human body and different masculine and feminine impulses we have to material. Each situation is highly specific to the object. Um, there's a small table which was already disassembled and I further broke it down by cutting off legs, sanding it, painting it again, hiding rust, leaving um, other damaged areas open and visible. So it's kind of a push and pull between um, answering to my own impulses and also the object, the object's materiality itself. This black mirror pedestal and the banners uh, kind of point to the viewer's experience of, of works of art rather than being an art object in and of itself. I work with uh, an arrangement of different materials, found objects, and also I have some pedestals made out of acrylic and plastic. Uh, so what you have here came from a number of different places, including junkyards and a plastics manufacturer. There's a lot of uh, like hunting and gathering. So I get a lot of materials and I scale it down over days and days in the studio of uh, analyzing everything and figuring out which relationships have the most tension and deciding exactly what it is I want to do. So maybe I'll get a truck full of material, but then what ultimately makes it to actual sculptural pieces is a fraction of what I bring home. The discussion of found objects is usually mostly the emphasis is on its history. And for me, it's not so much on these objects' individual histories, but uh, that they're basic materials. Like these banners, which have been aged and sun bleached, and uh, creases in previous folded positions are still evident. But what they depict now hanging in a museum setting is reference, visual reference to the tableau and the tradition of hanging tapestries and the tradition of um, large scale paintings like you have in the Italian Renaissance. Then I also transform objects like this table. Um, I cut off a bunch of legs, sawed it in certain places. So it's in a state of um, it almost looks like it's collapsing. And the importance of the table, for me, it's a feminine form, which is a kind of subservient, ever supportive structure. So this relates a lot to the female experience, um, as does this one, which I call entitled Reclining Nude. The materiality, the fact that it almost looks like skin in its color and texture and smoothness relates to the human body and also can embody a reclining nude figure, which is traditionally a woman laying on a bed in Hellenistic Greek sculpture. While this piece can be open to however anyone else or what anyone else brings to mind when they view it, that's, my, that's how it came to mind for me. This is like an abstract version of the bed, the white grid platform. And it relates to how we've communicated the feminine ideal. So it's like a, another version of that, where we can recall these traditions and at the same time reassess them.